Hey folks, this is Noble Rambler, and welcome to another episode of Oxygen Not Included. Just wanted to show you what the game looks like when you first turn it on. Before it is calculated, everything is going on. It's in a panic, saying you've got no bathrooms built, and things are in invalid construction locations, and we're lacking all of these resources. These, all these buildings that need to be built are lacking resources, and and just on and on three of them to have nothing to do and all of these are problems there's no electricity and and it's just freaking out you turn it on and gives it a give it a while and it finds all the materials and recalculates everything and off we go and we are harvesting a bristle blossom I'm working hard doing it uh -huh. So, what is today's plan? We're going to get the the uh, harvesting done. And this means that the seed has run out, doesn't it? Yeah, so we've had three harvests on here and we're going to get new seeds. And there are no seeds from these plants. So the danger is running out of seeds because we're doing it in poor planting conditions. Harvest rating 0.5 of 100. Predicted yield... 0.5%. Wow. So we could get so much more food if we were doing it in better conditions. So we've got to get to working on that soon. We do need to get these guys going. And they are delivering goods and building them. Get the carbon dioxide cleaned up over here. And then get some research going. Catch maybe the completion of these two bedrooms. And then we're ready to expel. Oh, we got this to do over here. Yeah. Too few dupes means that not much gets done. Too many dupes means you run out of food and oxygen and everything else trying to get the things done. So it's quite the balancing act all the way through. We're putting all of these on nice. Tell you what, while they are sleeping, let's go through and reprioritize things. Show you what I would do in my own game. Too many nines have crept in, too many eights have crept in. Let's take all of this into a seven. These guys are sevens. These guys are sevens. Yeah. Sevens there. Like so. So that area is done. I want the plants to be nines. I want the research and whatnot to be eights. So what else can be sevens? Let's just take all of the construction like things into that seven range right there now let's see I think that's all done there down here we're gonna call this a seven plants will be eights the harvests will be nines now well, that's kind of a mix anyway let's go to nines now I definitely want the pictures the paintings done so they are a higher priority. That one's finished, so we'll drop that down to a 1. Don't need to deal with that anymore. If they go to deconstruct it, we'll need to turn that back up. Kind of wish that the priority didn't remain on it, but it just stayed like any other building. Yeah, it's kind of odd to have it there once the job is done. Maybe eventually that'll be taken off. Um, what else did we disturb that was really important, though? I want to make sure that the bristle briar plants, whatever they're called, get, like this right here, do get planted. They are a boost to uh, their their mood. Otherwise, that guy is a nine. Get this this up and running, and got that one going. I'm gonna race over here and get some water and get this one going. Needs algae needs water. With that, we're gonna hopefully see a vast improvement here. Somehow, we are producing enough carbon dioxide to overwhelm what this plant can do. I wonder if it's oozing through. It's all carbon dioxide over here. So I wonder if it's oozing through the wall somehow. I wonder if this is rated as porous in some way. I took too many away. If I had left two or three rows, maybe we wouldn't have had this problem. I don't know. We'll see what this looks like uh, at the end of the episode. See if, if it's uh, improved or not. It's probably time to get this guy up and running again. Enable. Algae, 3600. Yeah, we've got to get some mechanical systems up and running. So this may be the last episode of just building and, and getting the basic living conditions done. Then we've got to look at some long-term strategies. Um, 
what to do next. Research, where are we at? We're, we finished that string right there. Got us to mesh tile. Okay. I want, oh, we do have fine farming. Okay, we've got the ability to do that now. What else do I need? Pressure management will regulate how much water we're putting into the farms. That might be important. This cleans up the bad water, makes it good water again. This makes more algae out of slime. Gas filter lets you select out of the air the particular gas that you're wanting. And liquid filter, same thing. You can pull a bunch of polluted water out of regular water and leave a clean water supply behind. They're important. They're not super important yet. Combustion is going to be an issue soon. Let's go here just to get this really quickly done. And then let's dive up into this string right here. Oh, pressure management. Kind of want these two. Yeah, we won't be using these too quickly. Let's get into these two next. All right, I think that's the plan. So we're going to get a sixth bedroom done soon, which will give us the opportunity to grab the best of the next two rounds of, of duplicates coming through. It's already clearing up in here. Oh, good. It's going to use a lot more um, algae, too. That's a problem. Anyway, long term, what do we need to do? We need to get oxygen coming in in a way that doesn't require algae. There are a lot of ways to do that. We need to get farming happening in a way that doesn't destroy our seeds. That's actually fairly new to me. I've only dealt with these before. And some of the, uh, the aquatic ones that uh, were used to grow these guys. The uh, thimble reeds. So I've, I've played with those, but the rest of them are all new to this update. So where to put them? Trying to think my way through this. We're warm over here. These plants can take what temperature range? All the way up to 86 degrees Fahrenheit. And we're in the... There it is, 74, 72. Up in here we're 106 now. Because we're we're wide open for, for this, uh, this, this steam geyser. So if we were to seal this off and put a third layer and separate these, then this would eventually start to cool down again. But yeah, we're going to be in the 80s, 90s up there constantly. So we've got to get down to this area for some kind of a planting zone for the meal wood. These guys. For these guys, we've got to get even cooler. So we're probably looking at tapping this area a bit. In fact, we could do that. How best? Let's put in and... I'm just going to go with, and there's the problem, no priorities for the first time you click. Yeah, right there. I'm just going to go with priority fives for now. Let's lay everything out, kind of plan our way through all this, sandstone, and then we'll turn on the important ones. This is going to be a manual airlock. And in case the food ever does come in faster than, than we're used to, let's get a second one of these in, and let's do that one at a nine. Make sure it is in. I sure hate for the next harvest to come in and suddenly we're leaving food on the ground. But let's do that. But this gets us out into here, which is cold. Negative 19. You know, 32 Fahrenheit is freezing, so that's quite cold. Gets us into the sleet wheat, which we probably should be exploring soon. We had a hatch die over here, so it became meat. It's refrigerated. <laughs> everything in this area is. We do have some polluted ice in here, so we're going to have some polluted stuff dropping in, as well as regular ice melting and dropping clean water in. So we've got to think about that too. I don't want to get into this area and risk losing our water supply before we're ready for that. Research is done. That was quick. Good. We had two people running the um, novice research down there because they had two stations going. So that's why that happened so quick. So let's get into both of these. Is there one that's more important than the other? Thermoregulator. Hydrofans. This cools areas. Huh, but this releases heat while it cools. Seems like, yeah, you, you gas pipe through it. So you put this in an area where it's not an issue if it releases heat. You run a, an air pipe into it. It cools the air inside it and sends out cold air. It's basically an air conditioner and events heat to its room that it's sitting in. 
So you would then want to run insulated pipes in and out of that room so that the air that you just cooled isn't warming back up again before it gets a chance to go down the duct work. So don't see us getting into either of these right now. So let's go this route here. And get into the ability to uh, to deal with gases and uh, and liquids a little better. So a cool area to grow these guys. And in a food aquatic grows a single plant when sown with a seed must be submerged in liquid. Versus a hydroponic allows liquid delivery. For plant irrigation can be used as a floor tile can be rotated before construction how would you rotate it can you hang it from the ceiling is this how the the creeper or the uh the pinch of peppers grow off the ceiling can be rotated before construction i didn't expect that for a floor tile we'll get into him in a moment i think that's what i want so let's experiment with that. Let's put in... Um, no, let's put in a mesh tile right there. In case we get something up here leaking and dripping, it just falls through. A mesh tile, and then food. A hydroponic farm tile can be rotated. Let's see this. E. It can hang from the ceiling. Interesting. Didn't know that. And normally O is the button default that rotates things. I found a way to, to change it over to an E where I'm used to it. So that's why E works for me if it doesn't for you. Let's put in 5. And then we'll cap it off with another mesh tile just for fun. And then we can ladder down into here if we need to. But let's go that route for there. Um, now we need to supply that with, does it say? Food. This guy, input. Liquid intake pipe. Liquid delivery. I think liquid is ge the generic way of saying could be water or could be waste. That's what I'm going to take from that. Um, it'd be nice to have here, here. Let's put our plumbing system in here. Uh, a couple of, of uh, laboratories, plumbing, and a couple of showers so that it drains down into these guys. Or let's do one of each for this system and one of each for another system somewhere else. That's probably better. Okay. So, food, 21,000. We've got a little bit of time to figure this out, and I'm running at slow speed, so I've got even more time to figure it out. Choose a duplicate. What do we got? Two learning over here. None and none. Neg 5, 10, and 10. Neg 3, neg 2, neg 2. Ugly crier, vomiter, and a binge eater. <laughs> you don't want them to stress. 21% is where we're at now. Has learning, has construction, has tinkering. Tinkering determines a duplicate's efficiency when operating machines. Construction determines the building speed. And learning determines research and how fast all the skills will level up. So to get a hold of Max and put him into research would increase his learning, which would then increase the other skills. Or do we wait to see if the next round gives us someone that has at least two learning, but three or four more of these perks. I think we'll wait. We don't have that six uh, bedroom done yet. So he's got nowhere to sleep anyway. Next round, we'll see if we can, we can salvage someone out of there. All right, what is being done? These are finished, and eh, we'll wait a little while longer to see uh, what, we, what we think about the results of that. These four are good. That one's functional. This needs a briar seed plant. Nine. All of these got planted. All of the artwork got done. That one's done. Little by little, it's happening. They need to get... Oh, they did get into here now. So now they just need to punch through a little further and then get into that. 
finish that off. I was noticing carbon dioxide building up in the beds, right, right, right in the bedrooms um, here. Well, maybe it'll show more. We turn this one on if we're starting to see uh, pressure build up. Okay. They're in beds now, they're sleeping, and there it is right there. Starting to form because of their breathing. There it is right there. I'm thinking that we need these gas per mule tiles also underneath the beds. Let those drop through the night. Of course, they're going to drop from this bed right through across this space and then eventually through into here. So I want to alter the plans a little bit tomorrow once they wake up. And we'll go ahead and, and set a, a speed rebuild of these six. Or these, well, the five we're using and we'll plan it into the rest. I can do that right now. So base, regular priority, right there. No, it's not going to let me. It will let me. It will let me do it there. All right, let's do that. It's not going to happen yet, right? It's not going to disturb their sleep? No. All right, so there, there, there. And I can't do much except for this one. All right, all the rest of these I'm going to have to do a cancel. Cancel of everything. There, there, there. There we go. And so these other ones... Well, most of them can be just a normal five priority. This one I want to kick up to, we'll say an eight. Make sure it gets done with the with the build out. Otherwise, they're going to dive through, get these done, and that carbon dioxide is going to flow out of their better, giving us more of a reason eventually to put a a algae terrarium in here somewhere. Anyway, research was complete. That was old. That's done. But if you don't click exactly on the X, you get to read about it. Okay. So over here, what I'm getting at is what do we kick up the priority on? Let's leave this one running for a while. Though it would be nice to get at least the medical bed in. Let's make that one a little higher priority. Priority 8. Right there and one above yeah and one past there we go let's I give a little space around it as well so let's get that one done these are done that's done everybody has a good bedroom now let's kick up uh, for Tomislav now I keep going to deconstruct instead of prioritize I wish these two were switched let's make sure that that gets painted today this one they don't have access to you. They still got to punch through the uh, the tiles over here. Which are sevens? Let's get them into that room, right there. Okay. So that gets them in there. Maybe this one will get built before the next dupe arrives, and we're gonna get the medical part done. Otherwise, I want to get into here, but since they're not ready to build it yet, it'll give us a chance to do some more planning. I hate to lose this right now. It's growing, but I need to get through here. Tell you what, let's do it this way. Let's dig out um, that whole row, all the way, all the way to there. This absolite takes a long time to mine, so let's not waste the time. We've got no sand above us, so it's not going to fall. So we could, though it looks funny, just leave a couple of floating balls of algae up there, kind of like where is it right here. Uh, any hatches? There's two places, three places in there that may have something buried. Four or five. Five places where there's something buried in the dirt. We don't know what it is. Hopefully it's more, um, where'd you go? Mealwood seeds. Like this one right here. Need to collect all these. Let's get that harvested before it gets eaten. That's, that's important. Sweep nine, that one. Right there. Any more? Just kind of laying around for no reason. Yep. Sweep use. Well, actually if I click on it and get the one I actually want right there, then I can nine and sweep that one. So we can cancel the sandstone sweeping and the... Now let's get the dirt out of there. And here we've got sand and mealwoods. Yeah, those are all important things. That algae is too. Don't want to risk that getting eaten by a hatch. Sweep that one. 
All right, they already got this one cleaned up. Good. We still have room? Yeah, we've still got some room over here. Don't need to build this run yet. And these have fallen. And there's something in them. Huh. Which means we don't have access to these anymore. So, yeah, we got to get that one done. Let's dig nine. I think there's something in them. That might also be the graphic to show that it fell. I don't recall... I don't see any other ones to, to choose from. Let's watch what happens here. So Natalia's going to go and dump this one off. Hopefully get a dig order after that. No. Nope. we got to finish all the sweep orders first. Faces are pretty neutral. Not a lot of stress going on. They're not overly happy, but they're not uh, upset either. That's good to see. So are we done sweeping? We are not done sweeping. What else is down here? Almost, though. One more. And Murphy's got that order. There we are. We gonna dig now? That looks like a digger. There's Thomas Lop. Nope, he's not a digger. He's pulling that out of there. Okay, guys, I'm trying to show something. Will you, will you get it? Thank you. <laughs> What's in there? Stuff. What does that mean? Because it buried stuff that was sitting here? That could be what it meant. It came down, and this stuff was already laying here, and it just buried it. And that's the graphic to show it. Okay, that makes sense. I'll, I'll buy that. There's still quite a bit of debris loose up in here, which is detracting from the decor. But we have enough green in here to offset it, so I'm not going to waste our time right now. There's so much more to do. All right, so with that... Let's also set this algae to dig. It's important to, to have it done. And we need to get some floors going too. But in this area, let's put in. And it's easier said than done because there's more to do to create that. Let's put in plumbing A laboratory. And A shower. And it doesn't like it because there's no floor. Okay. Well, we can do that. I like that. All right. So come down from the bedrooms, take a take a right, and or from them, take a left, and, and jump in and do what you need to do. And out of there, the sewage will come down and water these guys. Think of it as liquid fertilizer. Let's grab a liquid pipe. So this is the dozer right here. The pump, so green is out to the white in. It always looks the opposite to me. This looks like an in, and that looks like an out. That is correct. Green is out, yeah. So it's going into the machine, going out of the machine. So we're going to pipe out of the machine right here. Together? Probably not the best way. I'm going to go up and over instead. Let's cancel that one. What was that noise? Research complete. Um, well, let's fix that real quick. Filtration, percolation. Percolation makes oxygen. Let's get that one going. We're going to need that one soon. Uh, algae 2800. Yeah, we've just burned through another thousand. We've got another two or three thousand sitting right in here, but still, we don't want to waste what we what we can help. Uh, can I shut one down for a while? I kind of can. Let's calm hello. There we are. Calm him down for a while. Disable for a day or two. We'll turn him back on. Anyway, um, I want to cancel liquid pipes. These in between. Okay, let's try this again. Plumbing and liquid pipes. So we're going to come out of the machines, out of the the the, the fixtures, and drop probably down to the floor is the best route. Where's clean water's going to come in, say, up this ladder and feed in from below? So, yeah, we will drop down like this. I probably could connect them directly together, but sometimes the, the code has a problem with an out connecting to an out and then eventually going on rather than connecting to, you know, a direct run right to the end of whatever it's going to. But I am thinking that we're going to do this down into here and drop and feed right into these. Hopefully, that works. Oh, that's right. Do that again. 
there's your in. So it just had a pipe just had a touch. Although we may have a problem here. That's very possible. I was noticing this on, on Murphy's uh, uh, Let's Play. He was having trouble with this too. Should be individual feeds going in. In which case, I would want to do it from down below, which means I need to get down below. Let's cancel liquid pipes again through that run there. And let's dig out here and put in a ladder to get there, like so. And then go back to plumbing pipes. All right, let's drop down one, go like so. That way, the game will automatically take the flow coming through and split it up between all of the, the branches. So every fifth one is going to go into each one of these. And that should feed plants in a rather cold environment. We're at negative four right now. These plants were rated to negative nine, if I recall. It really surprised me. Negative nine. Do we have any danger of going below negative nine? There's ten, because we're getting heat from out of here. So 10, negative 3, negative 12. We do have a little bit of danger of that. Although when this door opens up and we start walking back and forth, we're going to be warming this area. I think we're still going to be fine. Though we'll plant from this end that way, in case we don't have enough seeds to fill it anyway. All right. So there's that system from sewage out. We need to get water coming in. And is there any power needs up here? Uh... No. So nothing here needs to be powered so far. So we need to get clean water into the bathrooms. Fixtures. So we can get dirty water out. I'm thinking temporarily we're going to tap right here with a pump. Long term, we're going to come down and build some kind of a basin for all of our clean water. And clean water we're going to be pumping out of other places like steam geysers and eventually refilling it. So... But for now, I think we can go ahead and do this. Can I dig at a priority nine right here? Will you guys do it? They only want to go so far into water before they start to freak out a little bit. If I were to do that, there aren't many priority nines out there. There's the artwork, which we still haven't gotten to yet. I think you and nine, so you'll bust through that so you can walk through to get to that. You need another briar seed plant. And make you a nine until that gets done. Otherwise, uh, priorities, ones, you're all done. You two are done. Alright. Don't have to take it down to a one. They're going to ignore that nine forever because there's nothing else to do. But it feels better when you're kind of looking through the whole thing as a reminder that this, this thing's completed. Alright. Water is... Oh, we're sucking out water at the same time that we're building. Now we're underwater. This is how much oxygen there is. Natalia is starting to run out of oxygen. She's going to dive out of there soon. She's cold, too. It's cold water. Well, my, well, it actually is pretty cold. 57 degrees. And out of air until the air fills up again. He says, man, it's cold down there. And we're done. Okay. So to get into a plumbing supply system. While we're doing that though, let's, well let's see, what have we got going on here? We're doing that, we're doing the bed at seven, doing this at eight. I would like to get this done. Okay, and maybe the next episode is when all this finally gets up and running. But let's get it all laid out now and give you the, the basics on how it works. We need to supply fresh water. So plumbing, we've got a liquid pump here. The pump needs to be on the lowest position, or should be, so that when the water level drops, if this was a, you know, a bowl right here, and eventually you only had water down in the bowl, it doesn't do you a whole lot of good if, it's, if your pump's sitting up here high and dry. So try to get your pump as low as you can, though it, it does chill and, and stress them out. If Natalia's at 19 now, if we had been watching this while she was down there, you would see that slowly creeping up. She was probably... Uh, maybe a 10 at the most prior to that. So being in the water does does stress them out a bit. But we've got an outflow here. An outflow into here. Come on up. Probably the ladder would be good. Need to get to here. Pipes, wires, 
both of those are pretty ugly for the uh, for the dupe. Someone keeps tweeting me. My phone keeps saying, "Hello, are you, are you noticing me?" If you guys can hear that in the background. Um, so we do want to keep them hidden, and I don't think the staircase does a good job of hiding them, but the floors do. So let's take the pipes like so to here. We'll do that. Then we'll come on up to here, come through. Boy, someone is having a conversation with me. Pop into there and pop into there. So when we do get this going, we're going to pump clean water right on up into, into these guys. They're going to take their showers or use the toilet. Dirty water is going to come out and fertilize our plants, which is going to give us uh, eventually, let's see, where that's here, food, this guy. It's going to give us irrigation and then fertilizer out of this guy as one of the sources. It's going to add even more to the uh, to making the environment perfect for the plants. Get the, uh, a good temperature in there as well and good pressure. The plant will need a certain amount of atmospheric pressure. Does it say? Because we, we just don't have it here anymore. Uh, gas pressure of at least 150 and doesn't say what kind of gas though here's 380 does this it, I well one thing that kind of frustrates me is that it doesn't require carbon dioxide which plants need I'm looking for you right here so it just wants gas pressure doesn't matter what the gas is apparently it'll grow in chlorine if you, if you have it, but maybe later that'll become a little more realistic. Um, this number we got set to a 9. Let's set him to a 9 too. So that is in, that is in, this is in. We need to power it. And our power grid is doing what right now? How close are we to, uh, to danger? We're in the yellow range. Up, oh, we're at 960 total watts right now um, connected to this grid which is going to be a problem. Hmm. Pump needs what? Because our, our power, our, our grid here can only handle his max wattage 1,000. We're only using 600 of it, of that 960 at any one time. So there are devices that aren't running right now. But eventually we're going to, by random chance, turn everything on at once. That could be a problem. The pump requires... 240. Ouch. So we're eventually going to be looking at splitting up this grid into two different uh, two different systems. But for now, let's just make this work. Power, wire. Let's follow the same pathway down with a wire. The wire will not short out in the water. Think of it as waterproof. And that is the system. Now we just need to get it built. We're going to pump water through. We're going to use it, hopefully at a rate fast enough to keep enough wastewater to keep these five plants going. I don't know at what rate this takes. I'm not getting the sense of a quantity here. So we'll just have to find that out. We may also... I'll tell you what, let's do... Well, can I? Can I do one more thing? I want pressure valve. Our liquid valve is a, basically a pressure regulator. Let's add a pressure valve into this system so that we can experiment with that. So let's cancel liquid pipes from here to here. Okay, let's get into our... Well, let's get into the pressure valve, the, li the liquid valve here. So here is going to give us a slider kind of like the massage bench does. Where do you want to set it at? So we can set the pressure. And certain things require only a certain amount of pressure. If I can get an example here or not. Shower, liquid intake 1,000 grams per second, and that is the the quantity that it uses, so you don't need to pressure down for that. You get into something that takes, so here's 5 kilograms per use, so it's going to take 5 1,000 gram units to run the toilet. So each of these devices, these fixtures that you'll see in here, gas or liquid, will have a quantity that it's expecting to find, expecting to, to receive. So sometimes you've got to, if it's below the standard that comes out of here at full throttle, you've got to meter it down. In case we need to meter it down, at this point, 
We may also think about metering it down at this point, too. That's a possibility. Maybe we can slow down the usage here to stack up some dirty uh, water, some wastewater, so that it's constantly flowing at least a little bit into each of these. That's an idea. Well, let's do... That was the wrong button. So apparently R takes you into uh, research. <laughs> let's rotate him. Um, and you get back into this mode. Let's do it this way. There we go. Rotate him so that the input, there we go, input is in line with that. Is that the best way? That probably is. That's not, I did take, okay. So pipes, we're going to pipe into its input, come out of its output and tap into that system. We may not actually use this one, but we're going to do it just to see it. And then same thing here, let's cancel these two pipes and put this guy in. Oh, hit that button again. R rotates in some of the games that I play, and E rotates in other games that I play, and it's it's messing me up. <laughs> All right, so we want to input from up here, just like so, and output into the system. If we can meter this down a little bit by walking out over here and grabbing it, so we're going to have to probably throw in a, uh, a mesh tile over here, like so. They can... Nope, that's the wrong place. Then we'll be able to walk through that. Cancel all buildings. There. Mesh tile goes down here. So we're going to try that again. There we go. They're gonna, we're going to dig this out. They'll have too high to walk in all the way to this point to be able to throw that valve. So, hopefully you followed what I'm talking about. We won't get to see it happen this episode because I'm looking over my clock. It's probably time to shut this one down. But we have the basic layout figured out for our first plumbing system. Taking clean water, going in, using it, making it dirty water, and finding a use for it. Another way to deal with this is had we come out of the bathroom fixtures with refinement? Yeah, it's a water purifier. So we haven't got there yet. In fact, did we choose another one? We did not. I didn't because I wanted them to be working. Okay, let's do that. This guy right here will, by adding sand, take that dirty water, clean it up, and actually make clean water out of it. So instead of outputting to a, a, another usage over here, I would just output to a a, a drip. What do you call the uh, the vent for water? A, a water well, water liquid vent, a liquid outlet, and just have it drip right back in and cycle back through again. We are running out of water really fast. We broke through. Oh man, that's not what I had intended to do. Okay, next time we'll figure that one out. <laughs> All right, well, this has been Noble Rambler. Thanks, guys, for watching, and I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.